so um yes i never got around to doing the kids holiday gift guide um, which so many of you requested it was never in my plan for this year really i just didn't plan for it and um just the way things i just i just couldn't swing it uh, without having it planned in advance, um, but I will plan on doing it next year And I'm sorry if you were looking forward to something like that, and I don't have it for you Obviously, it's kind of late now But I did get a lot of requests just to show what I was putting in Charlotte's stocking or getting her for uh, Christmas this year, so I thought I'd do that video. I'm not going to show you the Presents I'm getting her that aren't stocking presents. I'm going to show you this is her stocking get lots of questions on her stockings They're from Pottery Barn. We've had ours hours Yes for, um, this will be our 12th Christmas using them. Um, yeah, as husband and wife. Is that right? 11 years married. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's the medium sized one. I'll link it below from Pottery Barn. They have them every year. They're great. I hung them a little bit different this year um, using ribbon and some uh, like heavy duty command hooks because I just wanted to make sure they were secure. I'm not, I wouldn't hang them filled anyway um, just for safety, but um, I just want to be extra sure because those little stocking hangers are so pretty, but we don't have like a flat mantle. It's like a rough edge stone. It's not flat and I was just worried about I was, whatever. Anyway, that's what that ribbon is. It doesn't come with a stocking if you're curious. So I thought I'd show you what I'm putting in Charlotte's stocking. Don and I are big stocking exchanger kinds of people. If you guys seen our stocking, um, um, Sometimes on Christmas, we'll post a video where we show what we got each other in our stockings. Um, we usually take the time to wrap everything. I think it's just like a nice touch. It makes it kind of extends the Christmas morning experience of spending time together, you know, opening stuff. It's just fun to open more little things, even if there's just like a little bar candy or something. It's just fun. But for Charlotte, I'm not going to wrap these things. Um, I'm just going to hand her the stocking and let her reach into it and take things out one at a time. This is her like main gift portion of this holiday. First of all, she's only one. Um, she doesn't need, like she's not asking for things yet. You know, like there's nothing specific I really, you know, need to get her right now. Plus she has a lot of grandparents and aunts and uncles and um, friends and things who are getting her gifts for Christmas and as well as her birthday, which is just a few days later. And I am gonna be careful to keep her birthday very separate from Christmas. It's very close, you know, they're very close together. But for this first year, she just doesn't, it doesn't really matter to her yet. I thought it was okay. So I got her um, a little radio flyer, like walking helper wagon. It's like, it's like a walker, but it's a little radio flyer, um, plastic wagon. So that'll be under the tree. Um, I got her one of those everywhere chairs from Pottery Barn Kids, although it's a little big for her, so I might save that for Easter, I'm thinking, actually. Um, and I got her a couple of kind of sorting toys, because she's starting to get into, like, putting things in and taking things out of things, um, more in her playing, so I got her, like, this little piggy bank and one other sorting toy that I'm just going to wrap up. So she has a couple things to open, like packaging, but she can play with our wrapping paper too, because Don and I are still planning on exchanging some gifts and things. Um, but kind of keeping it low key in the under the tree stuff this year. I'm sure that will change in subsequent years, but the main event is gonna be your stocking. So I'm going to actually, before I put everything in her stocking, like cut the tags off, take it all out of the packaging so it's ready to play with. I don't want to have to open anything. I want her to be able to play with the things right away, if you know what I mean. Um, but I left the things in the packaging for this video because I wanted to remember what they were. Um, so, let's see. I got a few books. Um, she really is starting to get more into these little puppet books. We've had them for a long time, but um, I got her this little Mickey one. She's obsessed with Mickey Mouse. We haven't actually watched that Mickey Clubhouse show. She's not really like that interested in TV stuff at this point. Not that I've been like trying to show it to her a lot, but we've watched The Grinch. You know, we've watched um, Frosty, and she's like mildly interested when they're singing, but other than that, she just doesn't show that much interest in TV yet. But again, another thing I'm sure will change uh, with time. Uh, but she loves Mickey stuff, so I got her some Mickey things. I think it's just because it's such a bold, um, you know, black and red, and it's really, I don't know. She loves Mickey. Mickey. I love Mickey too. So I got her this little Mickey puppet book, really cute. I got her this board book, which is the first hundred words. 
So it's really nice and cushy and easy to turn the pages. You know, it's a board book and it's stocking sized. We have a lot of board books, but I wanted to get her a few books for her stocking because I think that's a nice thing to put in children's stockings. And then she just recently got into her bath books. Um, I've had a few bath books for a long time, but she showed no interest in them until like a few weeks ago. And now she's all about the bath books. And the, what bath books are, they're just kind of puffy, waterproof books that you can bring in the bath. I will say to dry them, um, I stand them up with the pages separated to fully dry because otherwise the water stays in the middle and you can get mildew that way. Um, but I got her this one, this little rainbow fish one. She's got a couple of Sandra Boynton ones, so this could be a nice addition to the collection. And again, something I'll take out of the packaging. And then I did actually get her a couple bath toys because she's just been playing with the same bath toys for the past like six months and I think she's just a little bit bored and I'm also about to change her into the big tub she's been using since she was six months old and could sit independently pretty well. I transitioned her out of her infant tub, her like we had a four moms tub, I transitioned her out of that into a, I think it's Staka or Stoka, it's the same as our Trip Trap, um, it's the same brand as our Trip Trap, our high chair. Um, it's just like, it's like a little tub um, that you can sit anywhere, but we keep it in the bathtub because it's just easy that way. And it's just a bit smaller. I felt like the bathtub was just too big, like too big to transition her into right at six months. Um, just personally, that was just my personal feeling and she loves that little bathtub, but she's getting so big now and I think after she, after we get home from Utah and she's, She's a big girl now, she's gonna be one, I can't believe it. Uh, I'm gonna put her in the big tub, so I thought that would be a good time to introduce some new toys as well. Um, so I got her this little set of um, boats. It says little boat train, and these are actually safe from four months on. And basically, they're just little boats that float, and they actually hold water, like you can put water in them, but they also have these little pegs, so they clip onto one another, and they you can create a train. So this is a toy I think that will have, you know, it will run for a while because she won't really understand the train, like how to do the train part herself now. I'm sure she'll enjoy it if I set it up for her, but you know, down the line she'll want to do it herself and kind of make that into a game. Um, and then I got her this little set of Lazy Buoys from Munchkin. Oh, I should have mentioned these are from Munchkin too. Munchkin makes a lot of the bath toys that I found. Um, this is a 12 months plus toy, so this is just, just appropriate now. Although I find that the age things that they suggest in a lot of these toys don't always apply. Um, sometimes toys are, you know, you can give your, your child a toy that's for an older age, a little bit younger if you feel like they're ready for it. I think this is just a general suggestion. But this is fun. It's got a spinner thing, and we have a toy with a spinner in it that she's fascinated by. This little nest guy, they call it. I'm just reading it. A strain. It's, they strain, they spin, they nest. Um, so it's just kind of a different variation of cups to play with. And um, bright color. She loves the color blue, just like Mama. And um, so I got her that. And then this last one, I haven't decided if this is going to go in the stocking or if this is something I'm going to take to Utah. Kind of, I haven't taken anything out of the packaging yet, so we'll see what I can fit in the stocking. But this might actually go to Utah with us to be a bath toy out there. This is another one of those linking toys. So I was like, well, do we really need two linking toys here? So maybe this is something that will go to Utah, but I think it's a good stocking stuffer for a baby, so I thought I'd bring it up. The Caterpillar Spillers bath toy, from again from Munchkin. This is a nine months plus toy, link stack strain. So basically it makes like a little bug. It has the different cups that do different things. They have different textures and straining things. You can stack them up too, just like a stacking toy. Um, so I thought that was cute. And again, it's got the spinner, which is fun in the bath. And those are all the bath toys. Then I got her a few musical things. I really wanted to get her a little tambourine and I didn't find one that was really baby friendly. I need to look around. I might actually still get her one of that because she loves anything that makes like percussion noises or music. She loves sound. She's very auditory. Um, you know, motivated, I would say. Uh, so I found these little, um, I wanted to get her a maraca, but they were all so big, and she, I wanted something she could really hold. Um, so I found these little Nino percussion eggs. And again, this is something that says three plus on the toy, I think, and I was like, um, I think my, I think my one-year-old can handle this. They're just little eggs, they don't come apart, they're sealed shut, and they're just, you know, you can make, but she'll, she's gonna have a lot of fun with that. And that's kind of something I thought might be fun in the toe of the stocking, cause it'll be at the la you know, one of the last things she picks out, but she'll be able to hear it in there. So it'll be like motivation to keep digging into the stocking. I can't wait to see her dig into the stocking. 
I got her a couple little cards. We don't actually have any toys like this yet. We have one little oval car that she likes, but um, I thought these were fun because they're the kind that you wind and then they roll themselves. And we have hardwood floors, so they'll they'll go far here. And these are by a brand I've only seen at Target B, I believe. I don't know if that's actually what the name is. B, yeah. And these are the mini wheels um, things. They sell them at my local Target individually. I don't know. I'll have the products linked below, you guys. I don't know exactly what they're called. I think it's mini wheels with a lot of E's in it. Um, but how cute are these little guys? I got a little school bus, and then this is like a little, um, oh, what's it called? A little van, a little like um, Volkswagen van, a little piece on the front. And they actually have little faces. I'll, I should be holding the toys closer so you guys can see them. I'm sorry. Um, I'll do that from now on. But super cute, very, very cute, and good little stocking stuffers again. What are these? Are these one plus? I bet so. One to five years. Like, and why do they put an end age, like a capped age on toys? I don't think you're too old to play with anything, personally. Um, like, do you have to be five to enjoy this? Or five or less, I mean? No, you can be ten and still think this is fun to play with. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, just a couple more things. I actually found this at Whole Foods. My Whole Foods has a lot of toys. Is that like a... Is that a standard thing at a national, like na nationwide Whole Foods? Um, I just think it's kind of funny. But they have actually kind of cool toys, and I thought this was neat. This is a kaleidoscope camera, and I think it's actually made from a cycled. Um, it reminds me of that material that's made out of cycled, recycled things. Um, let's see. It doesn't say. Sustainably made. Turn the lens for kaleidoscope fun. So it's one of those things that you look in and ink. It's a kaleidoscope. It says 18 months plus, but she will get a kick out of this. It has a little strap. It has a little wrist strap. I'll hold it up closer so you guys can see it. Here's a picture of it on the back. Um, really, really cute. And um, you know what it reminds me of? We, uh, our front porch furniture, we have like a swing and a, and a bench and a rocking chair, is made out of like recycled milk cartons and you wouldn't know it it's just like white it looks like white wood from far away um, but it's really heavy duty like very weather resistant stuff it's great i don't even know where i bought that stuff it was so long ago it reminds me of that kind of material it's got a little button on the top she will get a kick out of that and then lastly like i said we love mickey and this might seem a little young um it's like a little rattle toy does this even have an age on it no um but she will love this. Anything with a bell in it, she goes nuts for. She likes to shake it like to a beat. I don't know, maybe she's gonna be a musician or something. She really loves music and she's actually, she can, she can you know, keep a beat and she'll sing with me now, like sing, baby singing. Um, when we're doing our lullabies before bed, it's so cute. But Mickey and a bell, I was like, I'm sorry, you can't go wrong with this with, with Charlotte. She's gonna love this. Um, so I thought this would be cute. Also, I wanted something cute peeking out of the top of the stocking. And little stuffies are great for that, little plushies. Um, and this is a small enough Mickey. We actually have a bigger Mickey. I'm looking at it right now. It's on the floor. That her um, Nana gave her, Nana and Poppy gave her for um, Christmas that she's obsessed with. She loves You should see it. It's so sweet. The, the little smile she gets whenever, you know, she grabs him and she hugs him. And then she makes him dance. She makes him dance. Like, she holds him by the arms. It's so cute. Uh, but I thought this was kind of more, you know, car travel friendly because it's much smaller. So it, we'll see if she likes it, any of this stuff. I don't know. Um, I think she will because I spend all day with her every day. Um, but anyway, that's everything I got with her. I'm actually going to pull everything out and put it in the, of the packaging and put it in the stocking and then come back and show you what the stocking looks like all full up. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I pulled everything out. I'm going to stuff everything in. I'm going to put those little shaker eggs at the bottom like I said. I'm actually thinking of putting those in a little cloth pouch because I thought they'd keep them together and also might be another fun thing for her to play with, like putting them in and out of the pouch. So I might do that. Um, what else do I want to put in here? I want to put the boards, the uh, books towards the bottom, although I feel like, yeah, let's put the books towards the bottom. This is awkward filling a stocking, holding it up like this. Sorry, you guys. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I might put the lightweight book at the top. The camera's pretty heavy, so I'm gonna put that in. This is really cool, by the way, now that I have it out of the packaging. Like, that's really cool. What was the brand of that? It was um, PBS Kids. Oh, well, you know, like the TV PBS? I guess. Yeah, that camera's kind of heavy, so I wanna put that down. 
Let's get our little cars in there. <laughs> oh, this is getting full, okay. Um, the new little bath toys is something else I might put in a little pouch because they kind of are loose things. Let's see, no, they're fine actually, kind of how they are. Our little boats, you can have those kind of peeking out the top a little bit. Put Mickey in the top, oh, I forgot to cut off one thing. Don't want to leave any of those little plastic tags. The little, the like 8,000 plastic tags they put on everything. Oh no, I dropped it all. Oh, the little boats have numbers on them. Well, that's kind of cute. Let's see. That's what I get for trying to stuff a stuff in this way. And our little boats in there and our little Mickey guy. Now, I know I've said in all of my stocking stuff or gift guides, um, that it's not a stocking without treats, but Charlotte doesn't eat candy or anything yet, obviously. <laughs> She's one. Um, so I'm not putting any candy in her stocking. Oh, this came out cute. Look, you guys. It fit, everything fits perfect. Oh, I love the little Mickey hold hanging out. That's cute. Get the, I like having things kind of popping out the top. This will be fun. I'm, I'm so looking forward to giving this to her. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this look at what's in Charlotte's stocking and again to me talking about the gifts. I also did buy us like a family gift, a radio flyer, like a, one of the big radio flyer wagons with our personalized with our name on it and everything. It's really cool. I haven't assembled it and it looks like such a pain in my butt to assemble. It's like you need power tools basically to assemble it, but it'll be worth it once it's done. Um, I know I've done, like I said before, earlier in the video, that Don and I have shared our stocking stuff for exchanges on Christmas. That's a video I filmed for you guys before, and I've edited it like on Christmas Day and gotten up for you. I'm not sure that's going to happen this year, to be honest. Not because I'm like not willing to share, but it's just Charlotte's first Christmas, and I think I'm. I, I just want to like be focused on her and not worrying about filming and editing and stuff. Um, and I just want the day to be about family um, specifically. And maybe that's a little bit selfish, but I think I think it's all right. I think it's just right, actually, um, for our first Christmas especially. And maybe next year we can start the tradition of filming what's in our stockings as a family together when Charlotte's a little bit older and understands more what's going on and will want to participate more. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at Charlotte's Christmas stocking and I hope you're all having a wonderfully festive holiday week. This is such a beautiful time of year. Uh, just so many wonderful emotions and memories and sentiments and I we're having the best time. Um, but I will see you soon. I have a lot of things to share with you guys like videos and things I want to share but I just Again, I'm taking some time for family, so it might be a couple of weeks before you see anything new from me. I'm not sure how things are going to unfold. I will get my favorites up for you guys for sure. But we're going to Utah, and we're going to be there for a couple of weeks. And I just want to spend time with the family and and take a moment even, you know, to decompress a little bit um, and not worry too much about content and, and trying to squeeze that in um, <laughs> when it's going to be pretty hectic, um, you know, just with family stuff and being in Utah and Charlotte's not going to sleep at all if it's anything like the summer. So um, you might not see anything from me for a few weeks, but I will try to keep up on social media so you know all is well. All is well, and I hope all is well with you and um, that you have a wonderful holiday. If you celebrate, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to all of you, and I will see you in the new year. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching. Take care.